2020, uh, podcast one, episode one, Dabbling Dads. Um, I'm Kyle. Uh, I'm a forklift driver <laughs> for a living, uh, college dropout. Um, I coach wrestling on the side. I've done that for almost 10 years, um, and I'm a dad of two boys. So. And I'm Tyler. I'm a teacher. I coach basketball, and um, I have four boys at home. Yes, full house. Crazy life. Say. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, so we're uh, we're gonna uh, dive into the podcast game. Um, I've been watching podcasts since probably two thousand late two thousand fourteen. I was selling HVAC, driving around, listening to podcasts. Um, it really started uh, listening to Sturgill Simpson on Joe Rogan. Um, that's really what got me turned on to it. I listened to a lot of him, to be honest with you. There was a time where I was working another job where I was on a forklift, but I had the ability to wear AirPods, and I listened to uh, a ton of different kinds of crime podcasts. Like, oh yeah, you remember I went through a big thing of all different kinds of stuff. Um, I really enjoyed just the open conversation, uh, you know, talk about whatever you want type deal. Of, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know if you want to sort of cover what we're gonna. Well, we're sort of going to be Man, it's going to be on. anything like shows that we've seen, movies, just, you know, we've always bantered. We've had, like, common interests, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you are a specialist, you know, we got May the 4th Be With You going on. I mean, you know, you got these uh, movie posters where you work at the movie theater. Correct. Uh-huh. Yes. You know, so, like, you know, that day's coming up, May 4th. So, we have these common interests that are between us, and we just... Go off on tangents and science. We know a little bit about a little bit, but really we're just, you know, don't know anything. I, I say we know a little bit about a lot of it. Experts and nothing. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to say that. I'm, uh, you know, I, like I said, I'm a college dropout, so I went to school for a year and a half. Had a real good party, expensive party. Tyler like, actually focused on something and, you know, went and got a master's degree. He's a smart guy, so... You know, I could say he's an expert at something. <laughs> at least being a student, you're pretty good at being a student. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like to learn. Yes, and we can yes, just yes. dabble, and that's where like dabbling dads came Correct. from. And like you know, just from this COVID and like being in, and you know, I still have to like have stuff ready online, like have class and stuff. But you know, I started listening to the podcast, and you've been trying to get me to correct come and talk uh, and It really helped uh, when uh, our buddy Tyler's. Uh, this Tyler obviously sitting here with me, our other buddy Tyler, his wife started a podcast with one of her friends and we sort of were like, oh man, we can actually, you know, it's doable. We have what it takes to be able to do it. Um, Queen Bee Podcast, you should go check them out. Also, they're from our same little, uh, our buddy's wife is from our hometown. I'm not sure where her friend is from, um, but Queen Bee Podcast, it's, it's a pretty cool little podcast. They really sort of more female based, honestly, but um, something if any females are listening, go check out. <laughs> If anyone's listening. But I'll be honest, I listen to them. <laughs> like, I know. I know. Tuesdays and Fridays, you know, and uh, I always wake up to Love from Lola Lane. And I'm not going to go more in detail on that right now, but I always read that in the morning. And then uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. What do you read that on? On my phone, I'm like subscribed to it. It's like a blog. Okay. It's a blog. It's like a family lifestyle blog. Love from Lola Lane. Anyways, so like... Um, you know, I listen to them Tuesdays and Fridays, and then you've got me on Joe Rogan, and then like Steve O's new Joe, podcast. Joe, Joe can be you. You can keep like, up with Joe if you. I mean, obviously, you've been out of school since the tornadoes, really. Yeah. So, so a lot of people forget about the tornadoes, man. Like the tornadoes COVID came around and right after it like messed it up, but great. We'll talk about it. destroyed Middle Tennessee. The tornadoes did. And yeah. Then COVID yeah. showed up. You've been out of school that long, so it made it possible for you to actually start listening to podcasts. I've been pushing, like, hey, dude, you, there's yeah. so much information you can get from this stuff. And we're not really here to really give anybody information or, you know, we're not really inspirational, to be honest with you. But we uh, we, we like to, like Tyler said, just banter and talk. And our wives, you know, try to record us all the time and we'll be on tangents talking craziness. But we try yeah. not to get too crazy on here. We'll have certain podcasts that are probably laid out for that type of stuff. But some <laughs> of our buddies that come on and do some fun stuff. But um, tonight, yeah. I, tonight, I've got a few different uh, things I've written down. We can start wherever. Well, man, what I did is I got this right here. I don't even know what's in it. Okay. So uh, well, we can either start there. I no, don't I don't want to start take us on a, It might take us. Let's. You know, not the chatterbox. Some people know that. 
But I did, do, I did do this with my garage. I keep like journals. I looked through one the other day. I had like one of my favorite basketball teams and I like mapped out every minute of a game. And I yeah. was like, way too sweet. Much in there, man. But yeah. I, we're going to look at that at some point tonight. All right. I promise. Ooh. Well, I mean, we, we sort of mentioned Joe Rogan, but I listen, we listen every day. I've got you listening every day. Um, there's been some good ones on there. I'm not, I don't want to get too into it. We, one of the guys that was on there this week, um, Tim Poole, a uh, really cool guy, drove a solar van across the country to be on Joe Rogan's show. Um, he's, uh, I would say he played a lot of devil's advocate. That's what I found. Um, he, like, man. got some off-the-wall fame. Or he made, or he made truly believe some of the things he was saying. It was bouncing it off Joe, who obviously talks to many, many, many brilliant people and is trying to get a feel from Joe. Uh, am I crazy for thinking this? Or is this, like, a realistic theory in my brain and it almost seemed like he was coming up with some of these theories himself but we're I promise you we will go down some mini rabbit holes throughout this oh, yeah, little our buddies throughout this little deal we go on yeah I talked to him even like today yeah you know, he was like have me on there and I'll talk he's, he's down the he's rabbit deep. hole you know it can happen to you sometimes he's deep. like fish with the lights van. on top of their head yeah like his van could like power his AC all day driving right. or something right. So, if you're not watching it, you should. It's one of the most watched things out there. I don't want to talk to much. Yeah, he had like, like virologists on there, right. doctors, he has like Navy SEALs, people who wrote books. He has comedians on there too, but anything you can think of. It's, it's, it's like late night television, but better. Before COVID, he was doing like three a day, so it's really impossible to keep up with. But if you you know have time to sit or you're at your work and you got earphones on, you should be listening to Joe Rogan. He's got a lot. You can learn a lot from the show. Um, Steve-O. Uh, from Jackass has actually started a podcast, and um, <laughs> it's great. Uh, one thing about Sibo is we obviously know if, if you watched him growing up, he's a terrible drug addict. <laughs> like, literally videotaped his entire demise. They made a documentary about it, yeah. about demise and rise of Steve O. Uh, literally videotaped his entire destroying his life, and it somehow miraculously <laughs> been sort of like nine years, I believe is what he said. Um, dude, they got. Killing it from what I understand. Apparently, Jackass 4 is coming also at some point. Yes, he's definitely in production. Um, Going to be crazy, but he's had. Um, I'm, I'm going to just go through a list. We, uh, we can talk about one or two of them if you want to. But he's had uh, so far Tony Hawk, Dr. Drew, uh, Ronda Rousey, Wee Man, and Demi Lovato. Um, I actually watched Demi Lovato today. It was about an hour long. I don't know much about her. I know she's struggled with addiction. Also. I haven't and seen Demi Lovato one. I'll be I honest. Saw. I didn't. I don't want to sound sexist at all. I really don't. I obviously love women, but uh, uh, hers and Ronda Rousey both were just hard to listen to for me. I'll be honest. I with didn't you. listen to either one of them. So perfect. Like, hard, hard to listen to. I mean, you can listen to them if you want to. Um, Tony Hawk was awesome. We're gonna talk about that one in a second. Tony Hawk was the very first episode. Doctor Drew, he actually filmed first, but, but, but it started. It was the Doctor Drew was the second. Correct, and it's great because that's who pretty much saved his life. I mean, well, the it. second one was actually the um, Bert or oh, Bert Kreischer. That's right. That's one I, I forgot. Bert second. Kreischer was the comedian on yeah. there. That's the I first one I listened to. Correct. Steve. That was the second one. That was hilarious. But then Tony Hawk was first. But then you find but out you Andrew Andrew Bert Kreischer gave us a. They were talking about starting their podcast, yeah, even though they're awesome. obviously already guys that are like way. They are. They have. Their, they have they tons of fans. I don't care if they have any fans. I just want. to Get, put that out front. I could care less if anyone watches this. This is for me and you to have fun, learn, become better communicators, all that type of stuff. But um, Bert Kreischer and then, like, dude, just went in there one day, hit record, just like we just did in my garage, <laughs> just to just start talking. It's honestly already fun. I mean, we're just sitting here. It's a great time. Um, but anyways, uh, back to on track where we were, Steve-O's podcast is something I think you should listen to. I mean, just his perspective, like, from what he's lived, what he's done, he's lived a pretty crazy life. As crazy as he is, like he is pretty well spoken and intelligent somehow. I don't know how after that many headshots in your life, but it seems to be pretty smart. Um, Tony Dude, on his on his thing, man. He was talking to I don't know. I listened to the first half of Doctor Drew, but he did bring up CTE on there because he was talking about how many times he rocked his head. Yeah. But like Steve-O for me, man, is like all the way back to like we used to back where our grandma used to be on like fucking skateboards. And we were riding on them, acting like it was Mario Kart with tennis balls and kicking each other's stuff out and stuff like these guys did that. It was like on the internet. just weren't recording it. It's at the beginning of the internet, correct. So it's like on the internet, so it's like it reminds me of that. So when I heard him, he was like having this inspiration. You know, he's like so raw. Like, I don't care. Like, we might not sound good. Like, this that Like, this is just to get better. We're both coaches and understand to get better. It's fun. 
Okay. But then it's just like we're dabbling. We dabbled in a lot of interest. Like I got this book. Like I know y'all things. Well, I know you wanted to talk about, about Tony, Tony Hawk. We dabbled yeah. in video games. We, we're dads, but like even to this day, we still play video games. Yo, I gotta call out video one thing. Thing. The Geek Dads Facebook little thing, man. Like I saw you. I think you made a post today in there. Yeah. Um, and then. You know, I also saw that there was a video game you didn't know about, and that actually surprised me. Oh, the Streets of Rage. Because you actually, like, man, you're like, I'm you know, on top of the expertise. Of stuff. Like, yeah, you, you're yeah. on top of it, and you didn't know. And then well, I was like, what is that gameplay? Like, what? I can't remember. It's, what you um, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not just a side to side brawler. You know, where you're walking. It's like the Ninja Turtles or Simpsons game. It used to be a Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> one of those type games. But it's a uh, like side scroll. But it also like you cut, walk down this way, and you're fighting enemies all the way through. You can play with up to four characters. And we had it on Sega Genesis, so at the time you fell in love with two characters. It's hard, but we had Streets of Rage 2 was what we played. Um, I can't remember if it was one of the games. I think it was one of the games that came with our Xbox. Or not Xbox. <laughs> came with our Sega Genesis. Um, so we played for hours, dude. I remember our cousins came and stayed over when we were little. And uh, my dad and my cousin Seth, who's older than us, he's five or six years older than my brother. So good bit older than us. Him and my dad played for hours, dude. Finally beat the game. I mean, it's probably midnight. We're young. We lived in Red Fox Lane over there. <laughs> Where y'all been. I mean, I was young. Dude. We're up, jumping up and down on the couch, celebrating. Yeah, such good game. games. We're going to talk about games later, though. You know what I'm saying? Right, we're going right. to talk. We have games. But that's we're talking about, talking about video Go games. Back Go back to Tony Hawk. Go back to Exactly. That's, yes. that's what I was getting to. I loved it. The first Tony um, Hawk was Tony Hawk Underground. Is that what it was? No, no. The original was Tony Hawk Pro Skater on uh, N64 and PlayStation. That was the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Probably 90. I no tell. Seven ninety eight, probably when that game came out. Producer, I guess it was. Sorry, uh, Jamie, uh, <laughs> pull that up real quick. <laughs> um, no. But yeah, super cool game. Like just hearing him talk about it and how he came through and revolutionized. Like he was a great vert skater. So like on the half pipe and whatnot, right. revolutionary. The best, one of the best to ever live. Not, not the hydrated. not the best to ever live on vert. But then, then uh, all these skate parks started getting sued. They started like closing down, like taking their vert ramps out, like done. So everybody got sick at like street skating, like. So oh, uh, yeah. what's his name? Who's the Rob Deerdick, the guy with the Fantasy Factory? He like created Street League, which is like they set up this thing that looks like this sick run that would be outside of some building in Nashville, and they like run, run. Yeah. Is what I was showing the boys that day in there on television. I can do it all. Uh, it's great. I'm about to pull it up. I want to see what's going on. Hey man, I. Got a hole in my shoes. I'm trying to think. Ollie how many games? How many Tony Hawk games do you think came out? Dude, they started getting crazy. Like you could like do a kid flip and like grind across the wires in the city 8, and Project stuff. Was they started getting incredible. Ridiculous. Project Eight, you had to go out and find these eight different people. They started getting ridiculous. So Tony Hawk, you could like literally grind, 1999. Literally grind on wires, like communication wires, ledger wire. Correct. Unbelievable. So they so they produced the them from ninety nine to two thousand fifteen. Um, let's see the last one. First release was Tony Hawk September 29th, ninety nine. The last one was Tony Hawk Skate Jam, and that was two thousand eighteen. Actually, I don't know. Tony Hawk. He started all that. I think the last like, one I played was um, that one that came out. Tony Hawk Ride it had the actual skateboard oh, controller yeah. you could buy, but. Yeah. But it's kind of like Tiger Woods, like he wasn't even playing. I love Tiger Woods, we can talk about it another time. But like Tiger Woods wasn't even playing, and they tried, mm -hmm. I think they even tried to make a Ray McElroy game or something. Like, no yeah, one remembers. No one remembers. I don't remember. I it. It. You played it. Oh, you played it on Xbox. No, it's just it's Tiger Woods, except Rory's on the front. It's just it's not the same game. But Tiger, no Tiger, Tiger, why would they not? Why would Tiger not have another? He should have deal one. With he won the match, right? All right, we're going to talk sports another time. That's fine. That's fine. Anyways, I wanted to talk podcast for a minute. I just want to give you what I'm listening to. Um, I listen to that. Not, not that ours is going to be like that because, honestly, like we don't know thousands of people to have all these guests and smart people on here. So it's going to be me and Tyler pretty much BSing for who knows how long. I don't know. And our buddy Derek, he's a dad, man. And I, I, just, I like to have him at least once a month, if not more than that. Whenever he, yeah. he travels, he's a... He's a and sales his family lives all over the place. He's from Iowa, wife from California. So I'll be honest, place. another podcast that I have subscribed to, but I don't listen to is uh I was like, dude, at one point in time I like had this like idea that I wanted to be a trader. Okay. I wanted to trade things. Stock? Stocks and like that. And when Derek shared that Robin Hood thing, you can like sign up on Robin Hood and get free stock. I tried to like do it. And I got one stock, but then I started re researching penny stocks. And see, that's where 
I just get to dabble in everywhere into all these things. And that's what this is about. Yeah. It's about us just to be able to talk randomly and like you can have an interest here, there, and like yeah. it's just true. You know what I mean? That's what I kept thinking. Like yeah. kept because you've been talking about this, you've been trying to talk me into it. I can be a chatterbox and this, that, and the other, but like I'm just it's like we have these conversations all the time anyways. Yeah. So like why not? Recording. It's like it goes back to the Steve thing you were saying, like he has recorded things of him doing just his whole life. He should not be doing it. Like, you know, we could talk about that later, but he's like, got videos of his entire life. Which I do too. My parents videoed everything. So I've I've been recording stuff my whole life. Like I've been bad about my kids. Like I worked third shift for two and a half of Camden's four years of life, so I don't have time to videotape. I should be videotaping us out in the front yard doing things. And I do. We got iPhones and that type of stuff. So we do video it, but I mean, my parents would set up a video camera in our living room and like just video us doing living life in the living room. It's crazy. My dad's got so many. It is crazy. Businesses. You know what? Else? And that's why I like to wake up every morning and leave love from Lola Lane because then I get to see pictures of my kids. Yeah, the same thing. And read about them. Correct. And I get to see that different perspective of my own kids. On. So I read that, you know, and then I, I'm pretty much look, reading podcasts, doing some other things. Correct. Right. But it's. So, oh, so I cut cable. Um, I, I do watch Survivor, which we are going to talk about here in a minute. So Survivor, man. There, we're we're going to talk about, about it in a minute. Okay. Hold, on, hold on. There is one documentary I think you should watch. It is It is on Netflix. Um, it's called Unstoppable. It's about the girl who was 13 years old, got her arm bit off. Uh, bit off by what? By a shark, Bethany Hamilton. I mean, she's surfing. Surfing. She's a surfer. She's a surfer. Wow, surfing, surfing at the young age was like incredible. Was it at the movie theaters and a poster? Yeah, she, she was... She was no, no, no. This documentary was not. They made a movie about it. Um, oh, I don't know. Dude, I should tell you. Uh, I should know it. Helen Hunt was in it. Um, Carrie Underwood was in it. Freaking uh, the dude who pitches in the Disney movie. Uh, the National. Or not the National. God damn. Uh, the Rookie. The guy, uh, Dennis Quaid is in it. Oh. Uh-huh. Cameron, it's all about this girl. Um, but she was really. At her age, she was the youngest girl to be a signed pro surfer. Like, this girl was incredible. Gets her arm bit off. Was in the water like literally three months later, surfing again. Like incredible story. Um, wow. What can I find? What is on? It's called Unstoppable. It's on Netflix. You should definitely. Y'all should watch it, man. I'm. I, it's hard for me to, and Erica to find something that we both will watch. I've been and, and we're we're in there one night, you know, actually looking for something together, and I see that, and I'm like, oh, you want to watch this? She's like, yeah, sure. Like that looks awesome. Do we watch it? It's incredible. Like, Dude, this I'm girl gets pregnant at one point, and becomes a better surfer while pregnant than she was before she was. Pregnant. Was doing things she could not do, not pregnant, well, that she could do pregnant. Okay. It's unreal. You should watch it. I Unstoppable. It. Netflix. Netflix. I stay on the top 10. You watch like, it. We don't have I'll cable. Be. so. Oh, yeah. So, you're right. I cut the cord. I have switched to Hulu Live, though, which is how I watch Survivor, which we're about to talk about. I stay on the Netflix top 10. Like, uh, it's not a documentary, but many series like Waco is something good to be on. Yeah. watch that. Outer Banks. I can talk about them all. Perfect. But, uh, do it. You know, it's like. Waco, you know, it's crazy. It's like a different perspective of like a mini series. So I think it's only six it's episodes a, long. It's a, what's it called? What do they call that? A uh, not a. It's obviously not a. It's a limited series, series, I guess, because you can't have a series on a true event. Yeah, but it's based on basically they took a guy that escaped from a cold during the Branch Davidians in Waco. Uh, the reason that I originally thought about it before it even got in the top ten is because on Tiger King, which you know, I guess we could all bring up Carol Baskin and. Hit Joe Exotic if we want to, but we're really one time behind the curve. On he says one comment on there is like, This is gonna be another Waco. I was like, Hmm, I forgot about Waco, and that was like a branch to so and I ended up watching it. Right on cue, puts the deck up. But I'm so watching it because I'm, you know, I'm trying to, you know, make sure. I, I mean, it's COVID 19 and coronavirus, yeah. and you know, I'm trying to just watch whatever. So I don't want to go into it too much, but you know, it's something to look into. And they were, you know, branch to it was kind of coach, but they were kind of. You know, but it's written from a memoir of someone who was living there and a memoir of an FBI agent. And I think it's a marriage in between. I haven't read the two, and I don't want to give the names because I don't know them. Shame on me, but, you know. That's all right. It is what it is. But it is Waco. From, yeah, Waco, and, you know, his name is, um, long story short, it was a cult that the FBI was coming to. The ATF was originally who wanted to come because they thought they had weapons was the reason, and then they thought maybe some other cultish things, like, you know, have multiple wives and underage, having babies and stuff going on, so they thought it was a way they could open themselves up is the way this portrays it. But I don't want to give too much away. And we, and I What's a true event? I mean, it's, it's a true event that happened. It's true, but I don't like have to spoil alert something that's about something that's Oh, I agree. And you know, there were some children that died that probably didn't need to die. Is yeah. what was brought yeah, up yeah, in that yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, There were some children who knew no better 
weather side gears on. So it's and good, but probably not. heavy. Heavy, you know, I would like Dold only. Yeah, I'll be Dold only, but I'll a lot of Netflix that don't only right now, to be honest with you. So Waco, Waco. Unstoppable Waco. documentary, Waco. 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 Should watch it. Sweet. Very um, good. Cool. Survivor. Uh, it's incredible. It was incredible. And we're just going to keep it rolling, really. You had to watch it at my house, and we weren't allowed to talk about it because we were going to talk yeah, about it tonight. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, I don't know where you want to start. Like, where do you want to start? Like, is it, obviously, if they're if you're interested in this segment of Survivor, like, as part of you're Survivor, probably already watching it. You're already watching it, so we're gonna just speak that way. I don't know if I should. Like, that's sure. just kind of what's up. Spoiler: If you haven't watched, you fast forward. If you haven't watched second, the week of, uh, <laughs> you even taught me like the YouTube. Like, hit the fast forward if you don't care about Survivor. April twenty eighth is that when this was, if the Wednesday? Wednesday, this is the 29th. I don't know. It just says one of the days. Survivor is available on Hulu, and I watch it. If you haven't watched it. <laughs> fast forward. If you're listening, and if you don't give a shit, keep listening. Whatever. That's right. Um. Anyways, Tony. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna start off with him, man, because I don't know that I'm a big Boston Rock guy, man. I've, I've watched a lot of Survivor, you know. Oh um, yes. I, I'm, I would say I've watched every season, but when they said it was the 40th season, like I got to think in my brain. I don't know that it's possible that I watched. What time did we started going through every single season? We, we watched like thirteen. We probably watched twelve or thirteen seasons in yeah. probably a week time. We, we were trying to get on that show, and like I know I probably shouldn't, but like you got on an actual show at one point. Time. Redneck Island, Stone Coast Boston. But the whole backstory of that is the only reason you even pitch into that is because you are a hundred percent wrestling fan, Stone Coast Boston. Like I think I that was, was like, into it. 100% but I was also yeah. a massive reality television fan like Correct. Dude, my Man, parents were in on it from the beginning dude like, we believe. watched it non-stop I still watch those that's all pretty much the only television I watched that comes on television is reality Football. television <laughs> so yeah I had that chance when I was 23 and of course I didn't why wouldn't you I never remember the, I can remember the time you told me man you flew to LA and you're like all of a sudden I saw a black blob and that was me flying in to where there was like no more trees, no more nothing. Oh, like, like flying like into LA. LA. Oh, dude, well, no I trees. In LA in September again, and I, you know, when it's I like when what? I flew in, um, yeah, I flew out at night that time. But when you fly, when you fly in during the day in LA, um, like you're flying, it's beautiful, dude. Because like before LA is a lot of beautiful landscape. And like you look off in the distance, dude. And it's literally like a mess. And like, Joe Rogan says the same thing. And I, I want to reference him a lot because I listen to him. But hey, he's, the, uh, I mean, he, dude, it's a, it is a cancer, man, on Earth. You know, L.A. is, dude. It's buildings literally as far as the eye can see, man, from hey. from an airplane. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I got an earth so, over here just because I want to just kind of let everybody know like how I am and how you are and things like that. Like we're so you all about survivor com- conversation. No, I mean, we'll come back. Though. <laughs> I know it's gonna come back. So I'm ready to bring it back, man. I'm ready. Yeah, it's but it's like, I'm man, like you bring up Joe Rogan, it was no different than me bringing up a quote from Mike Shitchipsy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or something like that. And then, you know, that's why we're sitting here doing this. And that reminds me that. And when I've been listening to podcasts lately, like the Steve O podcast, talking mm-hmm. about, man, just critique me, do this, do that. This is like, it's almost like, uh, I just am enjoying it. And yeah. I just want to, you know, just be authentic in that. So, anyways, let's get back to Survivor. Yes. Um, I, I'm a huge Boston Rock fan. Did you just been a whole huge fan of Survivor? And the last thing I got to say, I know I just interrupted you. I'm sorry, right. But, like, it gave you the idea of when you're sitting there. And we get to see those confessionals. We see 30 seconds. You're sitting in there for how long? What do you mean? When they confession you, and you're in the confessions by yourself. And let's let's say that's what I'm doing. You're about to be tangent all the way. I that's, just want to know how long they're, they're talking to those people so everyone actually knows how what long. Do you mean, like, what's the what do you mean? In the like when you were by yourself and the producers are asking you questions about what the challenge is going on. Or yeah, you're, so you're, like, it's not just uh, 20 seconds. So I was there for three weeks total. It's not 20 like, seconds. No, like on the seventh day, seventh or eighth day, we filmed every single day. They, uh, it was like what's called a down day. Do they like brought, they had all our shit in bags. Like, so like if you brought a DVD player, like a portable DVD player, or CD or whatever, you could, they let us bring that and bring them out and listen to music, whatever. And then they come and pull certain people throughout the day and they take you to where they have this spot set up with a camera and they're asking you questions. So when I got voted off, we came the next day and I sat with a producer for like seven hours, dude. Because I, I only interviewed once that first week. And then I was there for two weeks before I got interviewed again. The next interview day, it started raining halfway through the day. So they didn't. And they me. cut your answers into the episodes. Correct. Okay. I just want everybody to understand that as the show is discussed. Because we will talk about that. I signed back in 2013 <laughs> is Mill and Boyd. Because I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, man. And I'm sorry. There will be F words dropped in this podcast. Mm-hmm. Like, I hate to say it, but it's Sometimes. just. And it's like I got my teacher. It's nothing wins. personal. It's nothing personal. I'll do my best to not say it, but it's going to be said. Like, just get that out of there. Anyways, Tony <laughs> is probably one of the best hands I've ever seen. I just say that person. Is it not just like his Kai Yayan game and he just got caught in the other game and he got well, screwed? It's, it's not that he got caught. He played yeah. too soon after his win. He won and then played like two seasons later. So it was like, oh, but this dude just won. We know how he plays. Everyone was there. Got to watch his season. How Survivor works most of the time, though, is while we're watching this Survivor being Somebody played out, they're filming another one or yeah. it's in post-production. I've been noticing a lot of them been in Fiji lately because, you know, yeah, I want to. I, I well, it's I, easy to keep setting up in that same place and not changing location. They just go to a different island over there. How many islands? And when I was talking to you, someone we're gonna have on here to talk like down crazy, you know, mm-hmm. extreme one side. He said that we should have a survivor guest when we get close to the finale. How you would we do that? Be? You know who it would be? Who? He said it would be Chase. Chase. Chase knew it would be a great one. Chase, Chase watched a lot of survivor survivors. That's, 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 that's great. Tell me that. He'd be a good one. Yeah, but anyway, so we just talking about Tony, his game, and now he's done, done the spy thing again, uh, and all dude, of that. Like, about him, like that, I think that's sort of Tony, his character. Who do you think's gonna win? Based off of you've watched every season, pretty much. I mean, you might have missed one or two here. They, you know, who? I don't think I've watched all forty seasons. Who is the production, and who do you think like? Is it Tony and Sarah to the end? But like, I like someone I in think, there. I, I don't think it's like Tony and Jeremy, Jeremy, man. I truly really do, dude. I, I'm telling you, Jeremy's dangerous because he's got, he's got the chance to tear off on some. Because if you watch how production works a lot of the time, man, and I hate to talk like this because it's sort of ruins it for some people who watch reality television. But what they I do is it. what they do is they sort of. If you realize the first probably four episodes, Tony was sort of the background. You didn't hear a lot of Tony. Yeah, but he's been winning. He did, great, he did a great job of doing that though, of sort of blending in when they were still. Before pre-merge, he was he was doing a great job of just blending in. Yeah. We've talked about me going on a game before, Big Brother, and you were on a game. Okay. Like he 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 just had his meat shields at the beginning, but they just weren't showing us him telling us what he was doing. I knew what he was doing because I've seen but, him play. But the production has pushed his way. When the next commercial was always talking about Tony, I mean, when they start talking about someone a lot like that, he's going to be around in the game for a minute. I'm not going to say he's going to win. He will be one of the probably mm-hmm. final four or five people on that island. I truly believe that. I also watch Bachelor, so I mean, aside from I'm, that, my, my I, I can't do Bachelor talk. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna talk Bachelor, but what I'm saying is, starts. I know, but what I want to <laughs> say is, is the things you've taught me about production and who they push and things like that. When I watch Bachelor with my wife, because I'm not only about my dad, I'm like a husband. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta watch Bachelor, which is fun for me. Sometimes. You're a better husband than me, bro. Bro, I watch it. I refuse to you, watch. I it. take those producing things that you say, and it's like I think these persons are in, and my wife's over here, and she's like, "How did you know?" And, and I'm like, "Oh, they told me." And when you start, when you start paying they attention to it, it ruins. I, you've seen me watch many shows, and like, yeah. I'm great at American Idol too, and, it, and that's America's vote, so it's hard for like, how do you guess that? It's like because I know they're manipulating. It's not even that. It's not even that. It is sort of manipulating. They wanted Clark Beckham to win it first when Clark Beckham <laughs> oh, from our hometown Beckham. was on there. We were so far off Survivor. We got it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, we're going to no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my statement real quick. But we'll like, Clark right. Beckham, like when they first put out the video, before yeah. they even showed who was on the show, he was the first silhouette they showed singing. I told my mom, he was like, "That is the kid from White House. He's gonna, he's made the show. Like he's gonna be really freaking well. He made Final Two. He watched every episode." American Idol, I have watched yeah, every season of American I mean, Idol. I mean, I but uh, it's amazing. But uh, I I knew I didn't know he was gonna go because America still got to vote for him. But he's he was incredible, dude. Like he, the only reason he <laughs> did not win is because production changed. Like anyone that watched it will tell you the same thing. And a lot of people in our town watched that season, of course. But uh, he uh, he got to the end and he starts talking about it. it's like it's like if I win, cool. If I don't, that's God's plan. You know, I'm, I'm fine with that. And as soon as he started talking about his religion, dude. Like, the guy who was mentoring them was just like, Clark's going to have to not be the nice guy at some point. He's going to have to show us that edge. Like, oh, and he was just like, not doing it, man. Just like, stay true to himself, whatever. But he's done fine, man. He signed with Quincy Jones, who freaking, uh, like, start, was part Dude, of this. Uh, like, we've done been head out. Incredible. King Griffey Jr., N64, Slugfest. No, Super the Nintendo. whole grand, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> whole grand salami. We're out in the left field. <laughs> out of here. Brother, Survivor, tell me about it. Holy shit, holy. Because I like Michelle. 
know, I know you don't like that. that. I had to keep my mouth shut the other day. But Michelle, she won her season. No one liked her. But I don't see her. But, but she's a, she just is floating. The problem was she didn't like race. her. The people didn't like her. But you got to understand. I'm trying to remember who was beside her. Man, it makes me so mad. I can't get the. I can't oh, see his face. I, I can't see his face. But she won man. because the person three people beside were left. her. That's part of it. Three people correct. were left. But the two people beside her had a lot more fucking blood on their hands, and it was a pissed but, jury. But it it's was like, pissed but, off but, jury. But it's but yeah. But you got to give the credit to do. She won. She didn't win, dude. That's hard to fucking do. She she now attaches to Jeremy, who she knows no one else will take to the end. Her game is to be the person the person takes to the end and loses, and everyone's like, "How did they lose?" That is her game. She won doing it. She said she gave him her 50-50 coin. I don't care. I get voted out. Of she knew yeah. she wasn't in danger because she's always a swing vote. She plays the Nick swing is, vote. Nick is playing it incredibly she stays right now, in there. So Nick true. and her, they both play that game and that swing vote, like little wedge in there. But and she's the best at it. She was like, tummy. she was holding it they've like it was nothing, tummy. dude. I'm telling you. She was holding it like it was the, oh, I want to be the fighter. I don't mm -hmm. want no one to think I can do. Michelle, she's going to win it. And everyone's going to be like, but how did she win it? We make a bet at some two weeks with me. Because they're going to be two hours. It's going to be a big week. Because the Fire Tokens and Exile are going to come into play. It's a two-hour episode next week. And I'm telling you right now, I will bet whatever you want to bet <laughs> that she does not win this game. I may right. never watch her back again <laughs> if she wins the battle of all the Okay, players. that's a lot. What if I, because they're casting, what if I cast it for Survivor? I cast it for Survivor, you wouldn't watch one episode. If you were on there? Yes. Oh, I'll watch her first. Then you're wrong. No, I'm just telling you that she's yeah, Michelle ain't gonna win, but I'm having a bad time. And Tony may not win either, but I and mean, it may be someone we have no clue, but I'm usually pretty dead on. I mean, Michelle you are. Be, Michelle may you be are. Back, may, just the way it's Michelle, did, did, I, did I at least defend her game? Yeah, she's you that's how she plays it. I'm not sure that you defended it, you explained her game. Pretty that's well. how she plays to me. Yeah. I watched that whole season though, and I watched I you know, just you hate got that style. Like, yeah, I hate that style. I like Tony because he came to play, dude. Yeah, but sometimes the best player, and I don't mean to bring up big brother during some hour, but like Paul, Vanessa, she wants them to take him to the end, and then she explains to the jury, I gave Jeremy the 50-50 coin. This, that, and she just hides behind Jeremy the whole way, and then why are you gonna vote for this guy? He has all this blood on his hands. Yeah. So now I win. I win. <laughs> I win. Yeah. She got rid of window real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Kim, she's smart. Let me tell you, she's a beast. The girl on the island, uh, she's not that old. How old is she? Not the party, but the oh, other one. Uh, Danny, gosh, she can. What about that? Rob wins. busted his elbow and he still, he doesn't know. Because Rob still thinks he can get back in the game and win it. He does. And that's his mindset. He went and got all those cookies. He's wasting energy, though. That was. Cool, I'd like to see him not quit and still be willing to go get all of them. But I guess prove a point, but dude, like you're not eating much. That show is not a joke when it comes. It used to be much more survival based. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. it's still not a joke. Um, what was the one? One of them we watched was like Africa, and they were like out in the middle, the, the hot, and they had nothing, nothing. Like season two was, was Africa, terrible. season three was Australia. They were both rough, <laughs> rough, real. You rough. need to go back and watch it. If you have Hulu, real rough. if you have Hulu, you should go back and watch like the first three seasons of Survivor. Is like. They are surviving. Now it's more of a just a game, but you have to build a shelter and you probably eat rice. They lose a lot of weight, but you know they search for it. Ben, we haven't talked about Ben. Oh, dude, speaking of Ben, ben yeah, he's gonna. Jeremy, Tony, Sarah's dude, playing a good when, game. Dude. When every the thing I mean, is like we can guess all we want, but when it, when Tribal is as live sure. as it has been this season, there's no telling who's going on. Whispering. There's no telling who's going on. There's no telling who's going on. They've been doing it for a few years, man. Jeff like, is the when, best. When a bunch of those young kids started coming through and realizing that like Jeff was a lot more lenient than they made it come off at Tribal, you don't just have to sit there and answer his questions like. Dude, this is for a million dollars that you can. This is for two million dollars. Yeah, can I interrupt real quick and then you can tell me whatever you want? Jeff, yeah, I'm sorry. The fountain of youth, tree of life, whatever you want to say. The man doesn't age. He is the survivor. Does he just live? Like, do you have any idea? Have you researched that? I mean, maybe we should research ourselves. Like, he's just. I know there's like, I've like researched before, there's like a whole crew around there. What's he happening? Lives in uh, tents and stuff, uh, but like. Uh, 29 days? Right now? 40 is the whole thing, man. What, what day are they on right now? But I'm saying he's there, but then you said they're showing this one and shooting another one, so like, does he just live out there? It's a break, like, but it's not, they, the seasons don't go back to back, so it's not like Survivor's on, it's off, now and he's the best. One of the funny on, So he's, he's working for those days straight. You gotta think, think about the hell of a job he's got, dude. 40 day vacation out there, 
dude, I don't know if you've ever seen when they when they get voted off. Well, hold on, let me finish my statement. When they when they get voted off, they go to this incredible resort, dude. So I'm sure he's not just there. And it sucks. Well, right now it sucks. But dude, you know, what about what's her name? The Queen. What's her name? Uh, she's Sandra is at the she's Sandra, at the resort. She's, she's saying, I'm going. Where is the cruise ship? Yeah, I need a hand. Where is the cruise well, ship? Well, they used to do cruise ship, but most of the they time, they do cruise ship. I'm pretty sure they do Fiji a lot of the time now. I can't remember what they yeah. freaking call it. Uh, I can't remember what they freaking call it. They go to man. Uh, but they go there and it's nice, dude. Like they eat, like it's nice. They eat whatever they want. They got <laughs> chefs cooking for them. It's incredible. That makes me want to go, but not even it off. I would try to. What's incredible if my mom was here? She would tell me exactly what's up. What it's called, where they go to. I just can't. Your I have it on the tip of my tongue. I think your mom's survivor expert. My mom, and then watch a lot of survivor too. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Like your mom's dad, Papa John's. But survivor's good. If you it is good. Survivor is good. It's in season right now. 40. 40. Season 40, man. Yeah. Exactly and, right. if, and if you haven't started, I mean, I, I would say start now because I'll be honest with you, I've watched a majority of the 40 seasons and um, there it's getting it gets better every time. But but to those people who do watch Survivor. One of my favorite things that Survivor has done, they've lasted a long time. And I don't mean Burger Bash again. They've lasted a long time. Mm -hmm. um, they've lasted a long time. But it's like the challenge the other day, I almost had a connection to that challenge because I remember it was season three. And I don't remember the characters on there, but I remember them saying that in there. And I was like, oh man, I did watch it. It was like Africa, I think, or something like that. Or Australia. Australia season three. Hot. It was terrible. Yeah. Anyways, but they had to hold their hand up there. They were just standing there. They could like lean. It took forever. Yeah. Forever. Time. And then as Jeff explained that, it like started me think like, man, I've watched all this. Probably like times like when I we got snowed in, we watched the first you no know, time season of yeah, Survivor. Pretty sure Ethan it's was like, on. Put me on Survivor. Sure I'm going Ethan, to win. Ethan, who was on there now, I'm pretty sure was we on that season. That. Season three. It's Ethan, so hard. Ethan was on there. So hard. Ethan, we couldn't want it. Anyways, we, we went off on tangents. Probably talked to but the, Survivor. Survivor. But Survivor's great. You we like Survivor. It. That's something uh, we're both watching. That's something we're both watching. Uh, like Tyler said, my movie, my life. Uh, Revolves around movies. <laughs> it does. Like if I'm sitting around not doing anything, even if I'm on my phone, you know, man, if I'm on my phone scrolling, I usually got a movie. And that's but you got a movie. But you got to let them. Have we told them why that you like movies? I man? like Safari. Like you need to tell them. Like oh, that's true. Them. Yeah. Like my so my dad when I was uh, when I was first born until I believe I was three or four years old. My dad uh, owned like a small movie movie store probably about the size of my garage to be honest with you it's about the size of that building. where the vans are now in our hometown for people that know oh you're not in rental or whatever yeah. that place is called it was yeah. like mr walk our number one sponsor no, it's not mr walk it's whatever you uh uh is. mayflower mayflower about that it was also mr j's at one point in time which was sort of like uh it was corn safari. dogs and mozzarella sticks but it was safari video, video. is what it was called when my dad ran it yeah so when that closed he got a lot of the vhs's and we watched movies constantly Middle school, I was an idiot, constantly um, grounded, couldn't go to my friends. My brother would constantly get friends or have friends over, and I'd be in my room watching Star Wars a lot of the time. Or whatever movie my dad would get me from movie gallery when we would go, yeah. Star Wars. Dude, are Monday, are you taking off work? Absolutely not. <laughs> not taking off work. <laughs> no. Right now. I'll probably watch from Star Wars Sunday, but I, I doubt I'll take off work. Yeah. I love it. I wear my Star Wars shirt to work, I'm sure. But, um... We're gonna talk about that all 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 together. Together. Yeah, I just grew up watching movies, man. Like, it yeah. was, my dad is a movie nut. If you went in his, I mean, if you went in his uh, basement, like he's got a ton of cool memorabilia. We might check that out sometime. I like to do one down there, maybe. Be down here, cool. that yeah. would be cool. That would be cool, for sure. But, I think we should get the dad with dads. I don't mean to bring this up right now, but we, because like sports has been substituted for me for like podcasts, which we talked about earlier, and like news, you know, because I just. Can't help myself. Yeah. But other than that, it's like I'm just listening to podcasts as I'm going and I mean, and um Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, keep me going. No, I'm you're sorry. good. You're I good. I, I was talking about movies just because I I went through a just try to make sure our conversation can continue to carry and at least get Oh, I know what exactly what I was saying, dude. It was the Kevin Bacon phenomenon. You remind me of that every day. Like, I heard that before. Like, you can, like, connect Kevin Bacon to every actor and every. But, like, you know actors. Your dad, I swear, we're not going to this, but, like, I really. Your dad was on a show. Right? He Bacon. also was on, like, a quiz show or something. It's we're not going to detail it all. Just was he or was yes, Yes or no? Was. All right, let's keep going, man. Because yeah. he was on a show, and it's like, we're going to have him on here, and it's going to be a fun show. We're going to yeah. have, like, a competition. He knows, he knows a lot. We'll definitely do some movie trivia. That, trivia, uh, stuff like that. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, he knows a lot of yeah. stuff. But I'll look down. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, movies are obviously I'm, in a I'm, weird time. Like, we're, we're living in it. Oh, we're we're going to get lost many times on here. 
out in left field somewhere. Kevin Bacon. Compared. Fucking the, uh, it's called like the, the Invisible Man. Man. What is that movie? I'm sorry. We can't move forward until I've done, gone down my tangent. What Kevin Bacon. He invisible becomes man. invisible. Yeah, it's, what it's, is that movie? They were trying to sort of mimic the, uh, it's called Hollow Man. Hollow Man. It's, That's what movie. it's a scary movie, man. I don't know if I just watched yeah, it when I was like 14 nice or something. Nice bare breast in there. Young age. About 14 Maybe that's why I remember that movie. I don't remember why. Yeah, because he's he's obvious. You can't see him. Nah, he's just kidding. Touching breast. Yeah, he is. But uh, that Hollow was, Man. I Kevin makes a lot of good stuff. Trimmers. Uh, What's the movie where he's on the on the creek and he's crazy? Oh, uh, River Wild. Oh, River <laughs> Wild. Right they kidnap those people. Yeah, it's his family. <laughs> River Wild. That's very good. He is crazy. Yeah, man. that's a good movie. Kevin Bacon's great. But that, right. what you're talking about is like things called Six or Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon. You can name any actor and connect him in one way or another, like in Six Degrees. So. I think it, it may be smaller than that. It might be like four degrees. I don't so this actor, I actor this actor who acted with Kevin Bacon. Right. Right. Maybe so. we'll do that when my dad's here. We'll, you, you can come up with some uh, uh, obscure awesome. actors and we'll see if we can connect. I need to start right now. But uh, movies are, are weird, obviously, right now. Like I saw where yeah. uh, Trolls, uh, the most recent Trolls, I don't remember what it's called. I haven't seen it. Me Surprising either. with my kids. Can't even love that when he was younger. But they... Uh, they released on digital, obviously, because movie theaters are closed right now. And I saw where they made like ninety-five million dollars the first week on digital at home release. So what I saw was wow. where AMC, ACM is it? AMC I, or AMC? I got a funny story. Hold on, hold on. I saw where ACM uh, is is no longer going to show Sony movies in their movie theater because Sony obviously was like, "Well, God, we're going to just start." We'll, be, we'll release the movies in the theaters, but we're also going to listen to home. If we're going to make 95 million from the home office, we might as well do that. But like, that's half the box office, anyways. Yeah. So, it's pretty crazy time with movies right now. I have written. What is it? Trolls Rock Man. Is that what it is? No, Trolls World Tour. World Tour, that's what it is. World Tour. So, like, you know, we've cut the cord in our, our house as well. I have, like, the antenna. I got Hulu Live. Now, I used to have Sling for sports. Sports is gone right now. Yeah. Um, but Hulu Live has ESPN. If anyone's wondering. And SEC Network. Yeah. Something to look into. But anyways, so the Trolls Rock Band, so like Lake, he loves remotes. And he already broke one remote and had to get a universal remote. It's not the best time. Just be honest, go ahead and spend the extra money on a universal remote. Don't buy the cheap one because like my wife says that I should have like a cheap dad uh, Snapchat or something because I'm cheap all the time about yeah. getting stuff like that. Uh. But anyway, so like she, um, so... Lake had it and clicked, just clicking on our Vizio TV on the thing, and all of a sudden, bought it. we've done bought Trolls Rock Man. So you're part of the 95 million. Jesus oh, Christ. So I'm it. sitting there saying, and now I'm like, oh, we bought it. We'll watch it tonight. How much is it? $19.99. I said, oh, what? In 1999. Lake. Lake, what? But Tyler, you and Emily plus four boys at the movie theater is easily $100 a night. Oh, we've done it many times easy. on birthdays. Well, it sucks about it. If you're going to pay $20, here's my only but, issue with it. But it's somehow we got lucked out of it because we were just transferring, like, because one of our bank accounts got, you know, hacked into or something stupid. So we just changed it over. So we hadn't changed over the account yet. So it didn't even charge it. And in my head, we were scrambling around. You know how Emily is. She's like, oh, we're having a movie night now. It's a movie night. Let's go get the movie. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Don't start. 48 hours. 48 hours once you start it. So that's ridiculous. Know. That's the one part that's ridiculous. If you pay $20. 30 days, but 48 hours. I can watch it as many times as I want for $20. But at $20, that should be your movie. No. How much does a Blu-ray cost off of Voodoo? Like $19.99. Sometimes most of the time $14.99. Let me tell you all something. I'm not going to talk to the camera that much. But if you had this man's dad's Voodoo... <laughs> You, you would be great. Right. So I'm trying to get you. He's got like over 300 movies on it. What about this movie? I'm going to just say the movie. I already know the movie. Like, I wish I could play this game where I could pop up on the screen. Or do like Zach the Morris movie. and freeze the screen. Freeze the screen. It. I could name the movie and then ask you a question because you have no idea what movie it is. But they're frozen as yeah, a You should write it down. It has, you got a pen? Okay. You probably already did know. you bring a pen? I didn't bring a pen. It doesn't matter. I don't want to open this shit anymore. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It has Sandra Bullock, it has Sylvester Stallone in it. I might have wasn't, I have no idea. They're Judge frozen. Dredd. No, you're wrong. Right. Wait. They're frozen and they come back alive. It's like hygienic time. It's, I don't know if you've ever seen it. Right. It's a clip. It has Sylvester Stallone, the guy who plays Rocky in it. Yeah, but you're, you're getting, Sandra you're Bullock. getting two movies confused right now. Demolition Man is the movie you're talking about. That is the movie. Pause. Wesley Snipes. That is the movie. I would have written it, had no idea. 
No, you I do didn't. it all the time. One day I said like one word. Yeah, but you've got them two mixed. You've got two movies mixed up because no. if you would, you do correct. Oh, I have to double check. I'm not sure that Sandra Bullock is in Demolition Man. She may be. She, she is 100. She has unconnected visual ring, beautiful love making to Sylvester Stallone. Is that not in Judge Dredd? I've never seen Judge Dredd. I've oh, so it must be Demolition Man. I think Demolition Man, right. and and, and you know, they're right. not allowed to touch. And Sandra Bullock, she has this bob, love her, Miss yes. Congeniality. Like, I know a little bit of movies. So, so movies, I'm, I'm wondering how they're going to change. That's one thing I want to talk to you about is like, so we can't go to the movies right now. Sony's making 95 million releases. What is that? Like, tour. Like, just buying? Because I don't know. Lincoln did it for me. I don't even know how I could do it. Dude, you know this. Sandra on. Bullock, Demolition Man. Nice. Yes, yes I'm telling Good you. Job. I've watched that many times. I've done. You've been practicing. Yeah, I'm, uh, I just know that movies I like and I've been talking to Emily. Then I go underground. Dude, Ron, There's like this Sega Genesis people. game, bro. It was, it was a game, dude. You no. started off you you 100 bungee jumped out of the back of a plane. 100. Uh, what's better, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, was and 64? Um, well, they had different time periods. I had Sega Genesis when I was pretty young. I'll be honest. I, I, I want to talk about it as a whole other episode probably. But N64 changed the game. I played Mario Kart for like seven hours oh, straight. Dying Lane one time. is in Judge Dredd. Came I'm outside and the whole world was just like three-dimensional after I played Mario Kart about seven hours for the first time with my mom when I bought oh, it. It screwed your, Changed the screwed game. your brain up. I was like up. so unbalanced. Well, Sega like, was like that for us because we went from Nintendo. I told you earlier uh, that I one time pissed in a box in my uh, grandmother's house. So I'm not going to go to any detail on that at 32 years old. But <laughs> playing I can say you had a piss, being an idiot kid, pissed in a box. It was my uncle's <laughs> and Nintendo and all these video games. NES. NES original Nintendo. <laughs> So, um, our Nintendo went to him. Later on, my dad actually, it was like his Christmas present from his <laughs> boss got him the Sega Genesis and the Sega CD. It was brand new. It just came out that Christmas. My dad's boss got it for him. So we like had Sonic. 100%. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. We got Sonic and Streets of Rage 2, I believe, were the Street games that came with ours. Is that the game that was on? Streets the, of Rage 4 was the Geek Dads. Was game. the Geek Dads. Facebook Geek Dads, if you oh, like what Dabbling Dads is about, like that. Geek Dads is geek right dads down is our, right down your alley. Correct. Um, so as we were talking about um, the what are we talking about? How movies are gonna movies how they're gonna change? change. Correct. So God, what, uh, what was the last movie? The last movie I saw I was with you. Yeah, correct. What so, was the movie? Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Which is Rise of out Skywalker. Movie. Monday will be on Disney Plus. I already have it digitally. My dad does. I feel like that movie corrected some things. I mean, this this movie right here sucked terribly. The Last Jedi was awful. I got it hanging up because I got the poster. It was free. But <laughs> last Jedi sucked so bad, man. The, where they screwed up, man, is J.J. Abrams should have done Force Awakens, this movie, and The Rise of Skywalker. Why did, right. do you know why? Is it like quick enough? I'm sure he was already working. Sure I mean, it is already, coming. It is coming. He was probably already working on um, something else and didn't. I don't know what happened. Never, the contracts. I'm Dude, sure. this is not a tangent, but Lost, J.J. Abrams also did Lost, which you yeah, haven't watched. Like I've watched. Big my name. wife made me watch. Yeah. It is incredible. I One of my old roommates, R.J. Carradente, so he might is, watch this. So it is a tangent or not a tangent? Not a tangent, bro. I'm sorry, man. But he, <laughs> he was like, I got kicked out of my dorm room so he could watch Lost. Didn't watch it until I was like 28 years old. J.J. Right. Abrams. But so do you know why he didn't do this? I, what I'm saying is I don't. I'm sure it was contracts or something. No, I don't know. But anyways, so, yeah. aside from that, um, I, I, just, I went through movies that are coming out in the near future and sort of just wrote a few down that I thought would be cool. Let's talk about but, Dude, um, before you go over them real quick, or you know already, you know at the theaters we go to, you know you buy your exact seat correct. in the thing, right? Not all movie theaters. The one in Hendersonville we go to, you definitely do that. Gallatin is not like that. It's not like that. I was wondering because it was like, well, if they do every other scene and they got it mapped out in there... You know, their transition wouldn't be too bad except I pay like, you know, how much I gotta pay for popcorn. But what movies are coming out that would be worth me going to? I don't, I don't know if these are worth going to. I didn't write these just because I thought they were worth going to. Oh, I wrote them down because they're the ones. I wrote down four. I thought they called my out. This first one I did not even know it was in production, didn't know it was made. Does not surprise me one bit. Um, but Fortnite. What? Uh, was it? Yeah. Fortnite The Sacrifice. PG 2020. Three hour long film. Fortnite. Fortnite. Is there an animation? <laughs> I will not be seeing that film. I just thought it was. <laughs> I did play the game when it first came out. My front buddies played it for a long time. Tyler's son Mason's obsessed with it. Dude, I've time. been spending so much money on Fortnite and never played it. And didn't even want to spend money on it. I've never played it, but my son spent money on it. 
You're it's like my credit card. I was down at basketball practice, and like getting text messages. I'm like, you know, it's I think like, it's my wife. I'm like, I'm at practice. You want a, you want a smart kid? I pull it out. Like, you realize he knows how to use his credit nice. card on the Xbox. God, ten dollars uh, turned into a that one. This movie we may go see together because it looks incredible. It's Christopher Nolan's next movie, which you know Christopher Nolan did the uh, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. Mm. Um, but Dark it's called Tenet. T-N-E-T. Robert Pattinson is one of the main actors in it. Tell me a little um, bit about it. I'm going I'm to. I wrote down, actually, the IMDb. I'm not going to read this like I, like I know this. I'll stop my brain. I wrote this down <laughs> on IMDb because it's, it seems like a pretty good thing. But it says, um, yeah. um, it's an ad- action epic with international espionage, time travel, and evolution. And if you watch the trailer, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a... It's, uh, What's that called? Is it not called an anagram? Uh, something that's spelled the same forward and backwards? Uh, uh, I don't want to pick it. No, that's a sound. Yeah. Uh, palindrome. Palindrome, correct. It's a palindrome. palindrome. So, like, so there's a scene in the trailer where like this car's driving and it wrecks, but then it does the same exact sequence, but the opposite direction. It lands right back on its wheels and keeps going in this like high speed chase. It looks, it's Christopher Nolan, the, the visuals and the special effects. It's like they're going to burn us on TikTok. Level. Correct. <laughs> They're going to be next. It's going to be a great movie. I'm just telling you. That's why. Yeah, I'm but it's it. like it makes me think of another movie, and I can't think of probably Inception, Inception, which was also Christopher Inception. Nolan. Inception. It's on my list, but I've seen it. Christopher Nolan was Inception, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Correct. Okay, we Good have one. that movie. Joseph like Gordon Levitt. But it reminds me of another right. movie where they're like behind the scenes. I don't think it's Leonardo DiCaprio, but maybe it is Leonardo DiCaprio, and they're like it's the agency or something like that, and it's like hmm. this is really most behind the scenes, and they have like the detective. Oh, dude, oh, was it the one called The Michael. Button with Cameron Diaz where she like had the button she had to push? She pushed off some of the dude shows up and he's, it's like no. this whole underground. It's like, where he doesn't know it's like the government is actually, or maybe it's not the government, it's like this hmm. underground agency that like, grab him, they pull him out. I can't remember who it uh, is. Oh, uh, with uh, Matt Damon? Uh, uh, Matt not Damon. the Adjustment Bureau. The Adjustment Bureau is yeah, what I made. Yeah, yes. Is the ticket going to be like The Adjustment Bureau? I don't know. The next one on my list was Mulan, the next live mm. action Disney movie. Um, I've, I've honestly like most of them. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I think the first was the. Are Sarah. they word for word? Not no no no. They do change up some of the humor that type of stuff. Pretty freaking close. Uh, I think Cinderella was a Maleficent may have been the first time actually, but it wasn't really a cartoon. She was a cartoon character with uh, Angelina Jolie. Angela, yeah, yeah. Okay, he um, he he but I think Cinderella was the next one, and then they've done Beauty and the Beast, which was pretty much oh, shot yeah. for shot. It was pretty good. Aladdin, I freaking love it. King. I know like, Aladdin took some scrutiny and whatnot, but it, I freaking love it. It took me forever to watch it. I mean, it took me forever to watch Aladdin. I haven't watched it since I got Disney Plus. If you want know, Lion King, great. Lion King, man, like Lion King. Visually incredible. Um, it's weird watching an animal that looks so real, real talk, and um, it's crazy. like it's that—that that was the weirdest part. But, but is it because it wasn't a sci-fi? Like I'm gonna bring up an old movie of which was like maybe the original CG. Not okay. I'm bringing up like Animal Planet when the Animal Planet monkeys are talking. It's like I'm believing it. What do you mean? Animal in the, one of the movies of Animal Planet, one of the newer ones. No, no, maybe not it was Animal Planet. Maybe it was one of those Planet three stores. Planet of the Apes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Animal Planet is like no, no science. Yes, yeah, the show. Holy shit, I'm like a teacher, <laughs> but it's You good. know what I'm saying. I know what you're talking Planet about. Planet of the Apes, the same, a newer-ish movie. Not the brand new ones, maybe, but maybe one of the... No, no, you're talking about the one that it, Is it weird to me when uh, he's talking? Rise of the Planet of the Apes, where... Uh, uh, is it because it's like a line? The Franco. James line. Franco was in it. Yeah, that one was good. That one came out probably Like, you know what I'm saying? That CG of that, like, when they're talking, it doesn't make me feel weird. It's like, holy it's, shit. It's sort of weird. I mean, it's... It is weird. Our, it is our eyes, weird. Our our eyes are trained to know CG. Like, we talked about... Uh, Mario, right? We talked about Mario Kart, I believe, and it, how it yeah. changed what it looked like when you walk outside. Like, our eyes, because of the era we grew up in, we, we saw... Like, people that are much older than us have lived through a lot of changes. They've seen a lot of things change, Correct. obviously. But the quickest change in technology has happened in our lifetime. Like we've seen yeah. craziness That's as far right. as just visual and whatnot. So Lion King. So it used to be that AOL Running Man. Like correct. we all know that. Like everyone. Right. Or the little paper games. clip that was on the side of Microsoft Word that you could click and it would answer questions for you. I don't know if you ever remember that. Little I guy. just remember my like away message on like AIM AOL. <laughs> like I'm away right I'm now. Talking, I'm talking about before <laughs> AIM Instant Messenger. Like old oh, school. Oh man. School. But, We're um, gonna talk about all of that though. Like I'm sure. Oh, guys. I so, hope so. Uh, anyways, MySpace Mulan. Top 8. <laughs> MySpace Top 8. MySpace Top 8. We have went from Mulan to MySpace Sorry, Mulan. Mulan. Anyways, Dude, let me tell you one fact before we continue. One fact before we continue. 
I heard they were taking away the dragon. Correct. What is the dragon's name? Mushu. Okay, so I Eddie never... Murphy. Eddie this, Murphy. Eddie Murphy. I, I don't know. Because out of all of these Disney movies and princesses, I got four boys, no girl to be seen anywhere. I've never seen Mulan. Yeah, but like going back to my childhood, like we had all the Disney movies. Female, male, it didn't matter. I got some bitches. But like the difference, like you growing up as a kid, you had all the Nintendo powers, all the Nintendo games, all the Super Nintendo games. So like you, you just had different things. Dude, we I were movie collectors. My dad's a have, movie collector. Dude. I probably have Big a folder time. in my attic Big my time. mom made for me of all the cheat codes of Super Nintendo games, like Mega Man, just games no one even had. I got the cheat codes for yeah. them in a folder. I do. I remember when, when you still lived upstairs with your mom for the longest time. You had that bookshelf. And I got it. Had, it had the Nintendo powers that would make a picture. Like if you had all of them, yeah, you could make a full picture. I of still them. have. Was it Flying Mario. It was like the. Flying and I got Mario. a bunch of them. They make them every like ten episodes. I got means of. I used to have every <laughs> Xbox original <laughs> demo <laughs> game. They're like, yeah, yeah, they're the game. It's heavy as hell. I'm gonna put it up in the attic. It's like, why do I still have these Nintendo we're gonna, powers? We're gonna have to figure out one. I don't know how we'll do Let's it. make us a table of <coughs> Nintendo powers. Because you didn't roll, you didn't grow up with a sibling, so there's gonna have to be no. a time when I have my brother here, and um, but you're gonna have to have your cool ass toys you had because you got still got the Power Rangers full yeah. set. You still got all that. So yeah. we're gonna have to have that stuff, and Ron's gonna have to be here with me because we don't still have our stuff because we play with our toys hard to destroy them. You were you. Dude, I got the flippy was, head Power Ranger. I got the Nintendo got Powers. Your mom Dude, was too smart. I'm pretty sure I got like at one point I might have the Super Nintendo. You know the little dude. Games used to come with a little uh, booklet that told you how to play. Yeah, of course. It used to come with that. Yeah. I don't know if it comes out now. You download it online. No, I don't. I don't know. I've, it's been a long it's time a since I bought a game that I put into time. my system. I'm telling you, if my wife lets me start playing video games again, I'm about to have <laughs> students on there, and I'm gonna be busting them. Be busting their heads. It's gonna be like, I know what you're about is cold blooded. It's like I used to play Rainbow Six Las Vegas. I used to be playing Rainbow Six Las Vegas. I mean, all kind of Halo original Halo, like inverted. Everyone's like, what are you doing playing inverted? It's like, that's Halo for you, man. It just did 007 Gold Knight. There was another game for N64 that was, this probably might get a comment. If you if you agree, I shouldn't be doing that. Perfect Dark for N64 was a good multiplayer game. I don't know if you ever played it. I actually did not. Never heard Perfect of it. Perfect Dark. I hope someone here has played it because it was a good multiplayer game. I played it many times. Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark. The Golden Eye Gold is the number one. Pretty good. I remember when uh, Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell was an incredible game at one point. But Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation incredible original. Incredible game. A lot of hours. Dude, it used to be like. You've come to the end of this disc. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta put another disc in. Uh, they got like Silent Hill discs. was just like that. Golly. Metal Final Gear was Fantasy. big. Uh, what's his I name? Uh, Snake. Uh, Secret Snake. Snake. Yeah, Super yeah, Snake. Up all along there. Silent Snake. Crazy. Some shit like that. I don't know. I'll go back and play it. It's like these graphics are terrible. Nice. Oh, oh man. Man. So one thing we have to talk about. Move on. Move on. Move on. All right. We'll finish Mulan. I think Mulan's gonna be great. I hope they keep it. I will see it. Will you pay $20 for it? I will not. Ten it, twenty dollars. Well, here's the deal. If I go to the theater, I'll have to pay. Probably have to pay twenty. It looks like a theater, a movie you need to Mulan. see in the theaters. Mulan and ten. Is it three D? Like, are we gonna talk about at some it's point the next Avatar know. that's gonna be three D, no glasses? When we, when, when we do strictly work. movie night, where we're just doing movies, which might be most of us, we'll go deep into that because I know a lot about it, but I don't think we have the time tonight to really dig into it. Avatar. I would love to. Avatar two and three is going to be next level. Different style. They're going to have to I'll change. drive over two hours. They're going to have to change certain movie theaters to be able to. The one in Opry Mills is already halfway where it needs there. to be, I believe. But it's going to have to have multiple um, projectors, from what I understand. It's going to be true three D. It was filmed in true three D. It'll be Sorry. taking place out in front of us. It'll be incredible. Not going to get too deep into okay, that. It's going, going to be going. incredible. I'm sorry. Mulan's going to be good. I hope it stays historical. Um, I've never seen it. Oh, um, we seen it. well, one thing we haven't talked about, which is crazy, because we're living in a pandemic right now. Yeah, um, COVID nineteen, aka coronavirus. All right, I stay on that Netflix top ten. I done told you the coronavirus. Um, explain. Explain. I already watched it before it ever got on the yeah. top ten. It's like one more twenty minutes. It has some, all those like, explained are incredible. If you it's incredible. It's short. It's to the point. It has interviews of people back in April of 2019, like Bill Gates is yeah. one. And I know people have different views of Bill Gates. He's a billionaire. People who have a billion dollars are smart. Get over it. 
I'm sorry, you can <laughs> agree or disagree, but no, if true. you have a billion dollars, I that I you're smart. I don't know that, that means that I trust him. It don't mean I trust him, but if yeah. you have a billion dollars, you're pretty smart. Yeah. So anyways, he was like, this is something we need to be worried about. Is actually a health pandemic. He even specifically said health respiratory. So we're going to have somebody over here who's probably deep down, crazy down the hole. So I'm not going to go down it. But I don't want to. We gotta talk it. about it because we've been talking about the movie theaters. Not COVID nineteen. I watch the news every single day. I watch CNN. I watch Fox. You know, I try to stay Miller. I try to stay very out of it, dude. I don't want to go into too much detail, but like, it's like, man, just be safe. Wash your hands. Do what you're supposed to do. Stay safe, man. It's summertime. I've worked every it's day. Summertime now. We'll deal with it in the fall. I've been teaching kids. You've been working I've on the tornado, day. dude. The tornado. And this is. We don't want too much detail about that, but I was telling uh. Emily, this thing is like, dude, the tornado, right after the tornado, where we lived, like, in Nashville, like, the tornado messed things up, but, like, it gave you a chance that I got, they have to have us at work, yeah. even with this corona going on. Like, you work probably more hours than anyone besides, you know, people like doctors and things like that. Oh, in this area. In this like, area, you were working hours because you were, like, trying to move whole warehouses. And truly, and moving, truly like, affected areas. Work every day. And truly affected areas. Well, you know, it hit on a Tuesday, a Tuesday okay. night, and I didn't work, if you remember, until that following Sunday. And we went in yeah. on Sunday, and I was Sunday through Sunday after that. So you're probably right. I was working when a lot of people were not in the, in the A lot of people area. don't realize things like they were having, like, I had to, you know, I got to get things done. But, you know, you had to go to work to get things moved to a whole other warehouse to keep things moving and shipping that people don't even think about. But that's a whole other thing. And, you know, we've stayed away from COVID the whole time. But, like, you know, we've been walking, we've been exercising. We've been walking around the neighborhood. Like, we've been out and about. Like, you know, man, it's good. Do you have another one? We're not on the last one. Um, I, I'm a, I did write down with the new Wonder Woman. Um, I think it looks good. Wonder Woman 1984, yeah. second place in 84, born in the 80s. Tyler hasn't watched it, so it's hard to have an opinion. But Dude, I got to admit something. I got to admit something. Endgame <laughs> was the end for me, man. Iron Man is dead. I got no point to watch any more Marvel well, movies. yeah, well, that's He's good. He's dead. That's good. My that's wife cried. Good. Tyler, with the Tyler, Tyler, he got away. It's good. That's good. Because it Wonder went. Woman is not Marvel. It's DC. So it's uh, perfect. If you know Marvel, it's great. I know. I'm confused. Whatever. I, I, Batman and Superman suck, dude. Those movies suck. But one, the first the one. The Dark Knight did not suck. Well, I'm not, no, no, the no. movie after that did not no, suck. No, no, the ones that are in this series. The ones, Never watch Ben Affleck. Ben no, this, that's the Batman I'm talking He's about. Terrible. Ben Affleck, Batman. Uh, ben Affleck was Daredevil. How could he ever be Batman? He's Daredevil. Well, don't forget. He's Daredevil. But don't forget. Is he not? He is. But Tyler, one thing you're forgetting right now is that Johnny Torch from freaking F- Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four okay. is also Captain America. Is he really? Yeah. I, I, hey, what is that meme that goes around? You were this old when you realized that. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were, you were, I was this old when Captain America was today was this old. I was today. I, I will really admit, I have watched Fantastic Four more than twice. The original one. The original more than twice. The original one, you know. I've watched it more than twice. Chris I've watched The Silver Surfer probably more than twice. But I just now, you were this year's old, we now learned he was Captain Chris America. Evans, Captain one. America should never then, pick uh, up Thor's hammer and then ever again. Reynolds. Ever again. Yeah. I know you don't like that, but Captain America, he, he should not be touching Thor's hammer. I don't care. I'm going to say this. I'm Mr. Torch. As much of a nerd as I like to call myself, there are people out there that are much bigger. And that's cool. Oh, that's yeah, great. Sure. They read the books. They read the comics. They do all this. I ain't reading no comics. I do have books, but I'm not reading comic books. I don't know the true story of why Captain America could pick that up and why he couldn't. I know some people are like, oh, he shouldn't be able to pick that up. But it was awesome. When when they Thor cheered. reacted the way they, that Venom of that movie was incredible. Whoa. My wife cried. We're going to have, have a full, we're gonna have kind of four hour movie podcast at some point. It's actually forever. Okay. But, uh, well, let's keep going. Let's the keep transition. Going. We're talking about COVID. Great transition. <clears throat> COVID. If you COVID. were an athlete right now, I have coach. I coach. Him. If you were a professional athlete right now during the COVID nineteen pandemic, and you were not being drug tested, you knew you weren't going to be drug tested for a good period. Would you cycle some sort of steroid right now? Me personally, I would not. Do I think athletes are doing it if they can break the rules and not get in for it? Absolutely. I probably would not because. Man, I just don't think, I just don't know if I could. I don't know in that, I'm not in that world. I played college sports, but I, it was, the college sports that I played, even though it was Division II, NAI, it was an extension of high school sports at a higher level. Yeah. The professional level, you're spending 
professional bowlers are professional That's bowlers. Point. They put yourself eight hours a day. Eight hours. Well, put yourself in a professional, professional golfer. I'm telling you to put yourself in the position of a professional no. athlete. If I was, if I was injured, and I was in a state, and I don't want to get into politics on this show or this, that, and the other, but you know, a fact is states do have rights to do whatever they want. That's proven in a lot of different laws, and you can pick them out. The states have rights to do whatever they want to do. Yeah. So if a state decides that they want to allow it, or they want to say you can do this certain thing, and the other states don't, then I think you're in a bad position if you, let's say you have a residence in a certain state that allows something, but yeah. your team that you play for is in a state that doesn't allow something. Like marijuana. Or marijuana, or, I mean, marijuana is really the main one. Like yeah. football players. Right like, now, that's like, federally correct. illegal. Correct. So, like, that's where it's like the Denver Broncos. And I'm not trying to relate. I'm just trying to make it something simple because yeah. that's what uh, I do as a teacher. Yeah, yeah, as a teacher, i got to make it something simple. Correct. It's, and that's the simplest thing to use. So, marijuana. In Denver, Colorado, it is not illegal to use marijuana. Correct. So, if you play for the Denver Broncos, why should I be penalized? Well, the, most, the, most, the pro, most of the pro They have a different tendency. Well, but, they're dropping them. They're but I think the question them. was more of like, would I be doping to make myself stronger or cut weight or get bigger or whatever it was? And I'll be honest with you, if they're not testing you, the only reason I keep you doing it, because I'll be honest with you, Sylvester Stallone, and you might be able to defend this or not, but I've heard this they're from various things. Like, sure. They are on HDA. Tom Cruise, the man is old. He broke his ankle. Like Jumping across, like he's, he's flying around doing all this crazy stuff. The man hasn't aged a minute. Because you don't get HG. He H probably get his blood probably pouring out of the head. rocket. The rocket. Who's the rocket for MLB? Uh, not John Schmalty. The Braves. You know what I'm talking about. Randy Johnson? Not Randy Johnson. He could sling it. The guy who got in trouble for steroids was a pitcher. Oh, Clemens. 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 He could throw. He took steroids to heal his arm so he could keep his job and keep his money, take care of his family. Oh, I'll be honest. And I'll be honest. Some of these guys. Some people are like. Why did Dak Prescott say he can't take care of his family for $9 million? That's because his house payment is $20,000 and his property tax is $30,000. And his money is the same percentage as our money. Yeah. He said he makes $9 million, but you know what? His house still uh, takes up 30% aside of his Aside from money, aside from this, aside from that. But no, I wouldn't do it myself personally. Up. But I think they would if I could get an advantage. I think it's been proven well, in sports, sport. sports history. Sports history. If you can gain an advantage without getting caught, you can you be the best ever. And you, you can be the best, best ever. ever. And no one's going to say sh shit about it. Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds are the two prime examples of that. And Barry Bonds, 100%, bro. Oh, they all were, dude. Their heads got so big, man. That's freaking, they were taking freaking testosterone. And once I saw Barry Bonds highlight when he played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and I was like, who's Willie Mays Hayes? I'm oh, skinny. Him and Rookie of the Year, he's so skinny. Dude, what is that? What is that? And now Barry Bonds, big old head, San Francisco oh, hitting it in the bay. It was fun to watch. I don't care what anyone says. I'll be honest with you. The one sport that I think is truly affecting is probably the UFC. And I think those guys are doping. And if I was them, I would be doping To too. heal yourself? Is it really they that are, bad to heal yourself? To they are fighting, bro. Like they are. It is the most brutal sport on the planet. They say NFL football is like being in a car crash every weekend. I imagine UFC fight is like being in a train crash. I got news for you. Train. If, well, I don't know. They should just sign that contract. If you kill yourself and you use the steroids and you die, you don't get your family does not get the rest of your contract. That'll stop people from doing steroids real quick. The people who decide that they want to be the best and do whatever it takes to do it. Dude, did we ever know that Lance Armstrong was on steroids? He looked like he was on steroids to you? No. Well, that, he was doing all kinds of they weird were, blood doping and some weird and around of that whole sport way. was doing it. And he had yeah, to do true. it because he's like, God, why am I going to come and get my ass with a bunch of guys are cheating? I don't mean to go on tangents, but we are the dabbling dads. And I'll be honest with you, there were summers I watched the Tour de France. And I'm pretty sure it's like July. I don't know the exact date, so don't quote me on this. Nobody, but like, it's like yeah. July area. July area. You know, I used to wake up at like 5 in the morning, the Peloton. Here they go. The Peloton. They, there's yeah. a breakout. Dude, I used to watch it. But it was never Lance Armstrong that I watched. But then later, he was blood up, you know, doing auction, which is all science. And if you live in Denver, you know, you can adapt, and which is science. And, you know, we're probably going to get into science one day, but I don't even know where we are, man. Which is your we're major. dabbling everywhere. We are. We're all talking, about, some we're talking, about, we're talking you know. about doping in sports. And I, I play two college sports, man. And I'll let you be honest. Like, we wanted to have the advantage, but that was more about experiences and fun and life. But at the pro level, that is your job. You know, if you're this much right better, now, in my opinion. this much better improves your life immensely. So there's no telling what those guys would do, what they would give up for it. I mean, and I think in taking like I, I coach children, like younger children now, 
I've, I say I coach them. I've coached them for one season now, but the younger kids, so it's like that part of my brain makes me want to be like, no, integrity, do the right thing. Like, do, you know, don't cheat. But like, you're making money. Like, you want to go down in history. You, if you have the gifts to do it, like, and there's a chance for you to get an upper hand, like, I think I, if you're I'm injured, and to me, if you're the injured, Kobe and all them went overseas is because they were getting stuff done to them that they couldn't get done here, and they got cycled right. through quickly. And then, dude, those dudes were healed so fast at back. Dude, blood so fusion, fun. Peyton Manning, he went because you, know, you can't. Like, pour what do they do? Pour your blood out, out heat it up, put it in a situation. I don't know the whole thing, but it's the blood shit. plasma treatment on your knee coming yeah, multiple yeah, times. Yeah, but yeah. it has to do with stem cells. And the United States, you know, they're, I don't want to quote this either, but it's like a slippery slope of stem cells. and Because, you know, well, they could, at Wake Forest, I heard this long time, but at Wake Forest, they could grow like kidneys right now if they wanted to. So they could take your own cell, grow a kidney, give you your kidney. Like, there's. From what I've just read and heard and different things like this supposedly can happen. I don't know if I can go to Wake Forest, but hey, give me a kidney right now. I mean, I sort of would buy it. They're they're growing hamburgers, growing steaks. Growing hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what we? Yeah. In okay. petri dishes. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, I don't know if this guy's doping or not. I know that uh, the video cycling the internet today was Mike Tyson. At, I think he's fifty nine years old. Is like back in the gym, like. Recently, I know he was Mike uh, Tyson. So Mike Tyson was on. You need to go if you're a new Joe Rogan guy. You've got to go listen to the Mike Tyson Joe Rogan. I've heard about Mike Tyson. Because there Tyson. was a time where he, he didn't. I'm gonna go through the whole spill. So you know, we know Mike Tyson's career. One of the best ever. Drug addict, woman abuser, whatever. Blah 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 blah. Went to jail. Did all that stuff. Right, got his life in the movie The Hangover. Got in the movie The Hangover. Got in the movie The Hangover. Um, that literally turned his life around. He then. He's now a, you know, we already talked about marijuana. He's, you know, big time in that. He's like, has his own ranch. Um, he's doing that. And then uh, he did DMT and like changed his life. So he didn't even want to be in the gym. He didn't want to think about boxing. He didn't want to think about that time in his life at all. And you should go listen to that podcast. It's great. Like, I, Mike Tyson is hard to listen With to. With Joe. They talk like that the whole time. And they just talk about sure. that and understand it. You know, it's hard to understand. Yeah, he was a like, bad man. He had the championship like 19 years old. You need to get on when you get home or not. Him not Facebook and watch him hitting the patch right now, dude. He looks like he could still knock people out. And I'm telling you, he's talking All about right. he's talking about just for charity doing like four to five round fights. So, um, He was the heavyweight champion of the yeah, world. Yeah. 19 years old, I'm pretty. Yeah. 19, 20, you can call Very him. Young. I, don't know. I, know. I don't know his exact age. He was, so, I have a unique fact. Guy. I had to write it down so I can tear around you. It's here. So there was a man by a boxer and this and boxing disappeared after this match. Heavyweight boxing disappeared after this match. Do you know what the match is by any chance? Lennox Lewis was in it. Lennox Lewis versus um, who were we just talking about? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Yeah, but Mike Tyson had already been in jail and whatnot. Yeah, yeah but it was that. still the last big heavyweight fight. Yeah, Mike already had the eye tattoo. Lennox Lewis fucked him up. Yeah, bad. My dad was at that fight talking about really? he used to have a cup that was like Tyson. He had no business and he in that like, fight, Mike Tyson did. Dude, Lewis beat him to a pulp after Ty after Lewis faced away, you know, the last time we had a heavyweight fight was yeah. that up now, you know, the Gypsy King. I didn't watch it, but I watched something <coughs> with uh what's his name? Um I don't know that boxer's name. We'll have to look it up later. I'll just add it later. What, what a little Mexican? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the heavyweight was the Gypsy King. The guy from England was the last heavyweight fight that just happened. They had the Tyson oh, Fury. Oh, Tyson Fury, yeah. Was yeah. the Gypsy King, and yes. then the other one was I can't remember. Um, Tyson Fury and um... it don't matter. But anyway, so the blood double oh, boxing. Like, if we're being honest, boxing is it's boring dying. Compared to it's dying. It's, it's dying. But Tyson, like, so you brought up Tyson. So what was it that you brought up Tyson about? Fury Wilder. Wilder is his name. Yeah, right. Wilder. He's getting old. He Fury's getting this old. Video like, going what around happened to boxing? Like, what happened to boxing was uh, what happened? What happened? What happened? UFC it got it got UFC happened and um, it's. Boring, dude. There's too many rounds. You know, there's there's a lot. It's really just like this. Like at least in UFC, I've seen blood and hey, when and UFC first came around, people didn't understand wrestling and jujitsu and that type of stuff. So like, God, why are these guys rolling around on the ground? I cannot watch these guys rolling around. But then they started seeing these knockouts come from crazy positions. People coming off the cage, rocking people. It's like, yeah, like this is much better. So. Dana White and those, um, they were brothers. I wish I could think of their last name right now. They bought the UFC for $2 million. They're the smartest people on the planet. Yeah. I remember it used to be in the um, restricted area of the captain videos. The first one they ever did was in Ken Alabama. Shane Rock type shit. The first one they ever did, UFC 1, if you go buy it, that was done in Alabama in some big town. The only place they could get it sanctioned. Dude, there's a great video on it on YouTube. 
YouTube is where it is at. I'm telling you. I know, and so I don't much. have YouTube because you know you like we've been talking about. Like you, you gotta watch the podcast. Like, okay. I know you watch the podcast. I have to listen to it. So it's like YouTube. I couldn't have it listening. You told me YouTube like pro or whatever it is. You uh, can like listen, but let let's just keep on going, man. Just, what is uh, next, man? I, I'm out of I'm out of ideas. What are we down? Oh, so we are out of ideas. We can definitely do anything. I I had my three post-it notes. I went through them. You've already went through your post-it notes. I know we are running decently short on time. What? Because we're only going to do start. supposedly we thought we could talk for like hours and hours, but like hour and forty-five we minutes minimum on this one, I believe. Minimum or but I forgot. The time. sad part is I forgot to start my timer, and we had fifty-four minutes. What time was that that we were talking? It's embarrassing. You're going to have to go. Time. Time. I'm sorry. No, it's not embarrassing at all. It's our first podcast. They're all going to be Just different. go look real quick. Across the have kids I got coming. Some we still got to open the green folder. <laughs> you can't even see the top, so who knows? <laughs> who cares? We're just Is it still recording? Let's, uh, let's at least see a page of the green folder. I'm going to grab a beer while I'm up. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to the green folder. Let's at least see a page. You say you're out of shows. Do I need to talk about shows or I can No, no, about talk about your book. We'll see what you got in your book and then we'll uh I got a thing I wanna do sort of towards the end and we're almost there anyway. Also, this will be the last I mean I will always sit in this Tennessee chair, but we're gonna do something about like this Tennessee, Florida, you know, I went to Florida. I've been to Ben Hill Griffin Stadium and I and I actually remember it. You I went to Florida as in he visited there. I went to a game and I saw the trophies yes. that Tennessee but, but when you said I, I went to Florida, it made it sound like you went there, like you were a. I went to student. a Florida game you versus Texas A&M. You were, you were not a student. I was not a student. Hell no, that's, that's what I'm very. Like. No, I went to King <laughs> College. Was where I went. Oh, yeah. So anyway, so this green photo right here. Let me tell you what well, I just like my friend Tyler here though. I was born in the great state of Tennessee, so. So, no, we don't have the timer. All right. So, I cheer for the real team in Tennessee. Anyways, That's fine. what's in the green folder? Okay, the green folder. So, this green folder right here was originally bought whenever I was going to coach Mason's basketball team. It did not go well. Me and Coach Mason not good. But then I turned around. I coached Liam's team this past winter. We won the championship. I should have brought the trophy. It's actually sitting should've up. The it, I don't know. Maybe it's secretly in a picture on Love from Love Lane. Yeah. But there is... I have my trophy up above my TV, like behind my wife's, like decorated, like perfect little spring white. You know how some wives are. They some end up with those geek dads, but they're like all fancy. So, anyways, this right here was when I coached Mason. I remember that's what it was. But now I know there's something else probably written in there. Um, I have like my stuff packed up. You know when I changed jobs and started coaching um, girls instead of boys. But so let's open it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna right. do. I don't know. I know. My handwriting sucks. We are, man, before we start, start, read the top of it. Though. Before we start, we are running slim on time. I know we are. So, so the very first thing that's jumping right here, it says, it says, it looks like it says practice Gillettsville. I don't want to go into the that church, is. but obviously it's practice <laughs> for like basketball. But the first page is not even basketball. I don't think it's. Let me like, see what it says. It says forex trading, Euro USD dollar. Oh, that's what it says. So like, so like, I was gonna be this forex trader, man. I like ran a simulation. I had it on my phone. How many pages I was like, do you have of it? I don't know. That's it. We, we, this we, is we, also we, the same guy. What's funny about this guy? This is uh, <laughs> when the game Pokemon Go came out. No, it wasn't Pokemon Go. It was Clash of Clans. Was the phone game? This guy got so obsessed with Clash of Clans. He had literally the time and how long it took to mine his stuff in a huge notebook headed to the Dude. how what time the next day he would be able to go upgrade this or use this or battle this. It was so unreal. His brain works very strange. Dude, so like um so like I have another journal that I know of already that is four rings that is smaller than this. I have like highlight like when the market opens in Japan. Yeah. When the market opens in Japan. We're like checking the recording like let's just talk and if we got the extra fuck it. So anyway so I got Euro versus USD. I don't know what all this shit is. Pip value, so like the pip. Whenever you're doing this, like I said, I read. I told myself I was gonna read five books. So, so when I like dabble into things, right? I'm gonna like. I, I said I'm not gonna use real money until I've read five books. Yeah. About candlesticks. So like I know candlesticks of the market. So like it's called a shooting star, and it means it's gonna go down and up. And like I studied all this shit. Dude, I read book after book after book. I read simulations on my computer. I spent hours, you know, watching these five minute, 15 minute charts. Yeah. Like, man, I'm going to be a rich motherfucker. Never spent one real yeah. dollar. <laughs> no, but I got fucking books full of it. Right? So look, dude, just look at this <laughs> shit. Look at this, man. Got a technical analysis. 
I also have books that this is like basketball and instead it's like all that's in this book right now. It's like, and instead it's like Bob Knight, I guess, but in the other books I have Bob Knight and I'm talking about defense. But right now I'm talking about technical analysis, three trends up, trends sideways, charts, I'm not gonna go into it. Candlesticks. I read a whole Japanese book about candlesticks, bro. Like actual candlesticks? Dude, doji patterns, candlesticks, like how the stock market goes up now. Look at this shit. I got all the oh, patterns yeah. drawn, colored on there. Dude, let's just keep going. Let's just flip through here, dude. I don't know what else I got. Fibonacci sequence. So I'm talking about Fibonacci sequence. You know how it scrolls around this fucking stupid. Candlestick patterns, <laughs> shooting star, morning candlestick trends, Fibonacci, oh 61 per golden mean. I'm like, I'm diving in, dude. I'm off the rails. <laughs> dude. dude. Ballinger bands. The thing is, is people who actually know about trading like stocks and forex and stuff, they know exactly these Ballinger bands. That's I don't know what any of that is. Dude, it's like how it goes up. Dude, we all need to learn this because when we start talking about the last dance and I compare LeBron and Michael so next week. We're going from week, dance to, to class with Coach Wells. Yeah, class because we're going to be talking about Michael Jordan and LeBron James sooner than later. Anyways, so <laughs> you got the Bollinger bands. I studied all this, dude. Market, momentum, oscillators. Yeah, I had it on my computer. For those of you that are listening to uh, not <laughs> watching the video, this guy has a green notebook here filled top to bottom <laughs> with uh, Bollinger bands and candlestick trends. Patterns. Oscillators, so you set up your computer. <laughs> so basically you're setting the things up, so the chart. So you know when you're scrolling through Facebook and you've been talking to your buddy, I'm going to buy some stocks, I'm going to make some money, and Facebook hears you through your phone. Creepy. And it's like... Puts it on there. Now it's like, hey, join me for a hundred dollars. I'm on there reading all the shit right now. I want this pattern. They got the TV on there. Yeah. Dude, I had the whole computer screen and everything. Let's just keep on going. Look at this. I don't know. The Japanese candlesticks. I'm reading it. I got all the different Euro, Australia dollar, New Zealand, US dollar. Dude, in the other journal I got that I know that I got, it's got the time that. So, what are you going to do? Bring a random one of you? <laughs> I don't know. Random man. journal? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, next time on Journal Time with my favorite time here. Journal time, dude. We'll see some stuff. Dude, I used to map out. I had a thing printed out one time when I was coaching basketball. I had players mapped out every minute of every yeah. quarter of the game. Oh, that's okay. Like, all right, dude. So you went through your dab right. list. This time we go through mine. We're not going to make them go through much longer. Do we uh, Do we, Do we? we start a new list or save your list for the next podcast, man? If we, if we One thing I want to talk about, because they did bring it up on Joe Rogan Day, and I thought it was crazy, and I wanted to know if you have ever eaten any animal? You, I mean, I eat animal every day. I want to know. Sorry. I want to know. I want to know what animal. They were talking about eating bear and mountain lion, which I say I am, is supposedly a delicacy. Very good. I think I don't know what they were talking about. They were talking about. They were talking about a mountain lion, and then he, he said he went and hunted bears in Russia, and that they wouldn't let them keep the meat from the bear, massive bear. Um, have I ever eaten anything like weird? Um, weird or like what animal have you eaten? I mean, I've had, um, like I mean, I'm, I dated a real country girl in high school and her parents would make like deer chili and deer, bunch of stuff, which at the time, I most of the time didn't know I was eating deer, but deer's you okay. Even know. I like deer jerky, that type of stuff. I mean, you I mean, when you know, jerky. when you know you're eating deer and eat something, it is greasier than ground beef. It is different. Not lean? To me, bear would be so green, there'd be no fat, no green. They said mountain lion. They said steak. mountain lion. They were talking about supposedly the best meat you can eat is what they were talking about on that, what you're talk, what you're referring to. Um, dude, I'm a picky eater, bro, so there hasn't, I don't venture out into crazy foods often. <laughs> be honest, I know man, you're a picky I'll eater, man, up. but like, I didn't know if you had deer jerky before. Like, I'm Yeah, deer jerky, jerky I've eaten. Um, but when they were talking about bear, it was like, can I get this bear? Like, I want to eat a bear steak. I mean, I'm sure they have uh, like wild restaurants where they you can go eat wild game, that type of stuff. I think those exist. I don't know where they are. Not my forte. Safaris. I think they have one of those in Hendersonville now. It used to be Riverdale. They had. It used to be at the mall at Aubrey Mills Safari, right? No. All right, so let me. You're thinking of Rainforest Cafe? No, Rainforest Cafe. Let me tell you about this shit. Safaris. There's another. There's another restaurant there now. What's the restaurant there now? The aquarium is there. Okay, so the aquarium. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. So, like, every now and then, you know, you put, like, your just resume in general out there. And I have, like, this biology major and stuff. So, like, I got offered, not offered, but it, like, popped up. Like, this job is available to basically maintain the aquarium 
at that restaurant. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> like, what? No, thank you. I don't you. understand. Like, you, there's so many things that go on that you don't understand yeah. that is going on. In that ecosystem that you're trying to control, no, thank you. I wouldn't want all that. No, no, thank you. But that's like that's like in the other part of the mall. I think I got flooded in the flood and like bunch of the fish were just Yeah, in the flood. I remember I drove home from Cookville in the flood. My dad did not know how to doll. So do you, remember, do you remember where that little go kart track used to be in Rivergate? Close to the Rivergate Mall. So like when you come up Rivergate Mall's on the left and there's that four way and then uh the place where you used to be able to work out but also buy a car or whatever the fuck that place was called over there on the left side. God. I don't know, dude. We're getting way off topic. I don't. No, 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 no. We're talking about safari suit. We're talking about restaurant. We're getting way off topic. Yeah, oh, safari. Bro. That's so, fair. so it That's used fair. to sit. It used to sit where Logan's Roadhouse now sits on that corner in Rivergate. Is where safari used to be over there. There was a little go kart track that was right beside it. We were when I went, when we were in elementary school. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I want to talk. I mean, we sort of tangent in here and there, which we're dabbling. Obviously, that's what we want to do, but. Sort of just to bring it around to a close. Um, I'm a big YouTuber, obviously. So I watch. I'm sorry for burping like that, but <laughs> I'm drinking beer while doing this. Uh, like Tyler, I'll tell you, even back in the day, like when YouTube first came around, I always like when the first viral videos came out, I'm sharing doing. Dude, like stuff. it wasn't even like YouTube. Like before YouTube, e -bombs we had like Miles Miles E bombs where it was like lemon or something. Lime dude, I used to be like Rodden.com, dude, Napster. I actually <laughs> downloaded I downloaded a song off of Napster one point. One time I waited at my dad's house. We had like a Vivio or some kind of old shit. Like I wish I still had a picture of it to put on the Geek Dads thing, like my setup. You know, the internet comes on, it has to dial in. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna dial in. I fucking downloaded lights, camera, action. I said, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Uh, oh my God, God. I downloaded that song. It took about four hours <laughs> sure. on the dial up. But motherfucker, after that shit downloaded, I was in there bouncing to that boy. It that took me four song. hours. That <laughs> one song on the next one downloaded. I don't remember the next one probably never yeah, happened. Yeah, LimeWire. We LimeWire. But I remember like, my dad would download stuff for us when his office first got the computer. Like, download something to print for us. And it would take hours to like download this picture for us to trace in color like ridiculous back then but anyways like to wrap that around um, there's all kinds of YouTube videos like if you get on YouTube you start going to like you know me when I was on third shift and I was my off night we would hang out over here and y'all would leave Eric would go to bed and I would be wide awake in the middle of the night just YouTube for the freaking hours and there are these videos out there where they uh, uh, the funniest ones are like black people it would be like two black guys watching a video of like say Clark Beck when we talked about earlier um, like him singing a song and these dudes are reacting to his voice reacting to what he's doing so what I thought we would do to sort of end this this is a song oh, okay, so we're gonna end now like I have a whole dabble list over here so we're so gonna have to do this again this is oh we're definitely this is just episode one we are okay. we're gonna be able to go far and do many many things um alright that's um, fine well let's wrap it up um wrap so, it up so I'm going to wrap it up <laughs> I'm just kidding we got what I don't even know this has been a fun time. It's been great, man. I appreciate it. Like your garage, like you got the dude, man. You got like the the Star Wars. May the Force Fourth is coming up, and you got Cinco de Mayo. But like May the Fourth to me is like you know that's like a part of our audience, man. Like one, two, three, four, five. There's only nine movies. We got five posters up here. Yeah, not all of them. I know. I know Solo is not part of it necessarily, but you know that's a good movie, and so is. Um, What's the other one that's right before A New Hope, technically in the chronological order? Uh, Revenge of the Sith? No, no. Not in the series, but it's from the separate, it's opposite. Rogue One. Rogue One. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah. God, great movie. If you, if you need to watch those things, you need to watch them before the fourth man. But let's go ahead and wrap it up. I'm sorry. No, we were getting good. ready, but man, like, Star Wars, like that's what we started with. Like This is nice, man. I appreciate it, and we're about to wrap it up. Good. So I'm just gonna play this song, um, just sort of close this out. I don't know. Hopefully like they don't pull our audio or video for. God, if they do, we'll have to cut this part out. Like, but it's got listening. multiple songs, so hopefully it's multiple. like it's like two songs that are. What is it about? You just listen. I'm just so anyways, why, what is the setup again? So you said people watch videos. Like so duetting, so they're, they're, they're called react videos. Or duetting, react, or, or TikTok. It's kind of? sort of like duetting. Yeah. 
yes, yes, yes. But you're reacting to what's going on? Correct. Oh, I'm not reacting, but we're just going to play something here. Just let you hear it. I think it's pretty cool. I let it do. We'll see. It might be terrible when people are like, what the fuck are you listening to? But we'll see. This reminds me of uh, the Men of the Titans. Men of the Titans. Yeah, I don't think they play this song. Anymore. They do! Or maybe I'm just misinterpreting songs, man, because I'm thinking of that white boy. Oh, that was Beverly Hills Ninja. Okay, well, I'll say that thing. Okay. I love this song. Down by the trailer, not the river! <laughs> Is it Beverly Hills Ninja, really? It's Kung Fu, the song you're thinking of. One of oh, when songs. I hear the chorus, I'll know it. Let me get to the chorus. Because I feel like no, that. No, 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 The actual song is Everybody Must Kung Fu Fighting. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's not what's playing. That's the whole point is you're expecting that song. <laughs> you're talking to the whole fucking thing, so you can't even hear what's being played. So that's not the song. <laughs> that's not the song. <laughs> I was going to die. But the whole point is. I didn't hear the actual song was, I didn't know the real song. But I thought it was gonna be like, Kung Fu Fight! Terrible. We got off the rails so bad. <laughs> Podcast one. Dabbling Dads, man, that was fun, dude. We dabbled in all kinds of stuff. Like, let's just do a quick recap if we can. I can't even remember. <laughs> we talked about, like, a Maybe we shouldn't drink as we go. Okay, we'll it's learn fun. our lessons. This is Podcast one. So, it's fun. It's fun. But I think we talked about movies. I think we talked about a little bit about COVID. It's also 1.30 a.m. We, we started on May the 1st. It is now May the 2nd. At the end of our first podcast, I believe we'll post it maybe uh, later tonight. May Tomorrow the 2nd, 2020. Or, or May the 3rd. Um, Appreciate y'all for listening, man. Wherever you see awesome. it or hear it. Love you. Goodbye. That was fun, man. Yeah. I'm going to get home.